Hi, my name's Mario Galdez. Um, I was on an initiative um, that was organised with uh, Sweeter Brown with the Flavors of Brent. This is what we do, which is a Belgian waffle company, so obviously lovely authentic waffles for everyone to enjoy. The HUT stands for Hold On To Sports and it's a handheld learning uh, project whereby children use the Nintendo Wii to learn about sports, uh, healthy eating, being a dietitian, being a trainer, um, being a PR manager and of course being an athlete. So we've got, we've got physiotherapy, we've got nutrition, all the key things for somebody in sport. No, it's a great, uh, it's a great concentration. Yeah. My dad used to go down and do a bit of picture. 2012 coming to London is going to be a fantastic experience. Competing in my backyard will be the greatest experience of my life, and I can't wait for it. ceremony and I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming pretty close to here. I want people to be inspired to do lots of things. If you see a beautiful venue in the Olympic Park, maybe you might be inspired to design a venue and become an architect. Maybe you can be website designers. Maybe you can become PE teachers, coaches, inspire the next generation. What advice do you have for your community? Overall advice would be find something that you're really passionate about and, and, and take it as far as you think you have the potential to take it. Was I faster than a cheetah? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Only Usain Bolt is faster than a cheetah. But I was a little bit quicker than a tortoise. Who was your sporting hero? I have two or three sporting heroes. Muhammad Ali, Jesse Owens and Daley Thompson. And Daley ought to be very flattered that he's in that. <laughs> What's the key of becoming a super fast runner? Keeping ahead of the cheaters. <laughs> I think the one thing to remember is find a good coach, find a good club, listen to the advice of your PE teachers. I was not a sprinter. I did something a little bit longer. I used to run 800 metres, which is two laps of the track. I used to run 1,500 metres, which is just under four laps of the track. Are you going to become a super fast runner? No. You're going to become a jogger. Okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with jogging. That's what I do now. Would there be an increase with disability sport and opportunities for young people of Paralympic Games? The Paralympic movement was born in this country. It was created effectively in 1948, the last time the Games came to London. In 1960, in the Olympic Games in Rome, the Paralympic movement was effectively born. 
something else we can we can use the Paralympic Games for, which is to 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 help people understand a little bit more about the particular needs and demands that disabled people have in the community. That's a massive opportunity. For me, I think it's probably one of the biggest legacy opportunities that we have uh, off the back of the Games in, in two years' time. What do you think the Olympic Games will do for young children? I hope young people understand that the Olympic Games is not just about sport. Um, we've got a cultural Olympiad where young people are being encouraged to do all sorts of things in the, in, in the cultural world, in the artistic world. We have 205 countries that will be coming to this city at the time of the Olympic Games. And I hope that young people will get to meet many of the young people from those countries, understand a little bit more about their cultures and the sports in those countries. And I hope I see many of you in the Olympic Park in 2012. Thanks very much.